Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to my reaction, my official reaction slash prediction video for the 2016 Oscars nominations. I am super excited to get into this. Well, I'm excited and I'm a little scared because I haven't heard anything about these, mostly because I... I'm looking at these way late. It's a few hours after they actually came out. Um, so if you really care, that's why you're watching this, because you already know what the Oscar nominations are. Um, and it, it, I've been out most of the day. I get up late anyway, but then I go out and I don't check the internet for a couple hours. And then I come back, I'm like, oh. So uh, I, I, before I start this, I want to say, I, wanna, I, I just want to give just a couple minutes, maybe a minute or two, to say... Rest in peace, Alan Rickman. He was one of my favorite actors. Uh, I absolutely loved him. He was he was an amazing villain in Die Hard. Of course, he was Snape. He was in tons and tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. Even recently, he was still in a bunch of stuff. And I, he's still in a couple movies that are coming out. He's, he voices the Caterpillar uh, in the Blue Caterpillar, I think, in the, uh, the new Alice in Wonderland film. And he's in that movie Eye in the Sky, which I heard is fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing those. But, yeah, it's a, it's a big shock because I'm a huge fan. I love Alan Rickman. love him in ev pretty much every movie, even if it's not a very good film. I love him. I saw that CBGB film. Terrible movie. I saw a couple years ago to watch for my top ten worst, which I, I don't think I ever did for that year. Um, terrible, terrible film, but he's great in it. There's so many movies where... It was a terrible movie, but he's great in it. He's even, he's even a really good director. So, rest in peace, Alan Rickman. I'm a huge fan, so it's really sad to see you gone. Uh, 2016 is a shitty year. Oh, look, Celine Dion's husband died, too. Why does the world hate me? Anyway, let's get into the nominations. All right, let's get into it. Okay, obviously, The Revenant's a big uh, Oscar, Oscar hit. Before I see the nominations, I already see like this the freaking suggestion. I mean, the freaking other articles are kind of spoiling stuff, so I'm not gonna look. Hold on. I'm going to hope. I'm crossing my fingers. I better see some Mad Max love. If he's not nominated, if he, I'm talking about Mad Max himself. If he's not nominated, I'm gonna be pissed. He needs to at least he. <laughs> it needs to be at least nominated. Cause I want to see, I want to see on like a new Blu-ray cover. Uh, Best Picture nominee, Mad Max Fury Road. I'm gonna be pissed. All right, so I'm gonna go down. Oh, okay. What's all this shit? Okay, all right. Oh, here, here's the video. Okay, they do a video where they announce them. I could just watch that, but I'm gonna go through them myself. Cause I think that's big, big, bigger surprise to me than a bunch of actors saying, "All right, so here's the nominees. Best Picture goes to Carol." Or whatever. Alright. So, what am I predicting for Best Picture? I'm predicting The Revenant, obviously. Um, I'm going to say... Carol is definitely going to be in there. Because I heard nothing but amazing things. And I've seen it. It's a great film. Room. I just saw. Fantastic film. That better be in there. Steve Jobs. I'm going to predict some love for Steve Jobs. That a lot of people are in... Uh, a lot of people weren't expecting from the Golden Globes, and it got some love there, so I think it's going to get some love here. Maybe not in Best Picture, but in everything else. Not Well, not everything else that makes sense for Steve Jobs. Um, I don't know what else. You know, so, yeah, screw it. Let's just get into it. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to predict. All right, so I already see a couple of them, so let me scroll down. All right, so Best Picture, you got The Big Short. That's surprising. Bridge of Spies. Brooklyn, yeah, Mad Max Fury Road, Best Picture nominee, that's right, it was, it was pretty much obvious, it was pretty obvious, but they've also screwed us over in the past, so I had to be sure, The Martian, which I, I kind of saw that coming, The Revenant, yes, Room, okay, good, and Spotlight, no, Carol, huh, Carol, everybody's been freaking raving about that movie, man, it has huge, huge high marks on Rotten Tomatoes, so I just assumed, but no, Okay. All right, so uh, what, what am I predicting for Best Picture, seeing that that's the biggest award? Uh, seeing that there's so much love for The Revenant at the Golden Globes, that doesn't mean they're going to give it to The Revenant, because remember last year, uh. Boyhood won the Golden Globe, and then Birdman won the Academy Awards. So I have to think about what is the, uh, I guess, the Birdman of this list. Uh, I would say probably, I'm hoping Mad Max, but I'm going to say Room. If not, then Spotlight. You know, I'm going to say Spotlight. 
I'm going to say Spotlight's going to win. I hope Mad Max wins because really of all these movies, I haven't seen Spotlight. I haven't seen Bridge of Spies yet. Uh, I haven't seen Brooklyn or Big Short, so I've seen half of these. But really of the movies that I've seen, Mad Max is the best. I'm sorry. You, you can disagree. I mean, you're wrong, but you could disagree. Um, but uh, yeah, I just think uh, Mad Max is a, a better film. That's just in my opinion. My good sir. So now let's go on to the best picture. I mean, best. I mean, we just did best picture. Uh, best actor. All right. Crack my knuckles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. All right. This looks like it's exactly the same as the Golden Globes. You got Brian Cranston for Trumbo, Matt Damon for The Martian. Well, kind of. I think it's uh, a little different. Leonardo DiCaprio for The Revenant. Michael Fassbender for Steve Jobs. Yes. There you go. Uh, Eddie Redmayne for The Danish Girl, which, by the way, I saw The Danish Girl. I'm surprised that's not an Academy uh, a Best Picture nominee. Um, and I, I like the Danish girl a lot, and, and I know there's a lot of hate Freddie Redmayne. I don't really get it. He's a great actor. I don't know. I I, I don't personally get it. I don't know, maybe because he won over some big hitters last year, even though he deserved it for a not amazing film, but he deserved it for his great performance. Um, but anyway, this year, you know what? Even though I love Leonardo DiCaprio and I love Matt Damon in The Martian, haven't seen Trumbo. Uh, maybe I'll watch that before this. Uh, I've seen everything else here. So, I'm going to say my personal favorite from the ones I've seen is Michael Fassbender. And, you know what? I'm going to say here. Leonardo DiCaprio most likely will win. And when he wins, it better it better be this. Where Michael Fassbender becomes the new Leonardo DiCaprio. Because I feel like he's been nominated like four times, like three or four times at least. Like... Pretty sure for 12 Years a Slave, Shame, This, and I feel like something else last year he was nominated for. And he never wins. I don't think he ever won a Golden Globe or a Oscar. And he is such an amazing actor. So I'm going to say he's going to be the new Leo, where he's going to be someone that everybody's like, oh, he should win. How come he hasn't won yet? So, mark my words. You know what? I'm going to be happy if either Leo or Michael wins. So, we're on a first-name basis. We're we're friends. So, anyway, I'm going to say uh, Leo is going to win, but my personal favorite is Michael Fassbender. Okay, Best Actress, Kate Blanchett for Carol, Brie Larson for Room, Jennifer Lawrence for Joy, Sh Charlotte Rampling for 45 Years, which, did I hear that was good, or? Yeah, I think so. C uh, Cersei Ronan, I think that's a, Cersei, 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 Cersei Ronan. For, um, seriously, for, um, Brooklyn. All right, my personal favorite from the two films I've seen here, because I didn't even see Joy. I'm, I, after I heard that it's supposed to be not great, I just, I skipped it. I was just like, eh. Um, Kate Blanchett and Brie Larson, both fantastic for performances. You know what? I'm going to say Brie Larson. Hey, she won the Golden Globe. I think she's going to win the Academy Award, too. Great performance. She was so good in that. All right, next... That, uh, that's my pick, and that's what I think they're going to choose. Best Supporting Actor, Christian Bale, The Big Short. Tom Hardy, yeah, for The Revenant. Nice. All right. I'm, I'm so happy he got nominated because he's so good in that movie. Mark Ruffalo, Spotlight. Mark R Relance, uh, Bridge of Spies. And Sylvester Stallone, Creed. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know what to pick. Sylvester Stallone, Creed. That's my choice. I love Tom Hardy, but he'll have another chance. I feel like Sylvester Stallone's getting a little too old. And also, he always he still picks those dumb roles. Uh, I'm sure Expendables 4 is still coming, so <laughs> we'll, we'll be seeing that. Uh, but uh, hopefully, hopefully he wins it. Tom Hardy has a whole career ahead of him, okay? Uh, he has a whole career of Mad Maxes and, and Legends and uh, Locks and Revenants and all these other movies that he can make. So he has a whole career ahead of him. Um, I never saw... Marco Lance, I heard, was great in Bridge of Spies, but I haven't seen it. Um, again, I've only seen The Revenant and Creed, so I'm going to go with Creed is what they're going to pick and what I would pick from the two performances here. But I'm happy Tom Hardy got his uh, acknowledgement. That was really cool. Um, even though I think he got acknowledgement before for something. I don't remember what, though. Best Supporting Actors, Jennifer Jason Lee for The Hateful Eight, Rooney Mara for Carol, which is uh, funny because she was considered a lead role at the Golden Globes, and now she's supporting actress. Uh, Rachel McAdams, Spotlight. Uh, Alicia Vikander for The Danish Girl, or Ex Machina? What's up? What's up, Academy? Which one? You tell me. 
She was really good in Danish Girl. So, uh, Kate Winslet for Steve Jobs, who won for Steve Jobs at Golden Globes. But I don't think she's going to win this time. You know what? I really have a good feeling that Jennifer Jason Lee is going to win this time. Uh, Rooney Mara has already uh, won, I'm pretty sure, for Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Could be wrong. Um, and Alicia Vikander, I mean, she just really started, I would say. Yeah, I mean, she just started to be in movies more. You know, she was in Man with Man from Uncle, uh, Ex Machina, Danish Girl. I think she's in something else soon. Um, so yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna say my choice is Jennifer Jason Lee. I've seen actually three of the four of these movies. Spotlight's the only one I haven't seen. And from all these, Kate Winslet is great, fantastic. But you know what? I'm gonna pull for Jennifer Jason Lee this time because I really feel like Kate Winslet already has like what two Oscars. Jennifer Jason Lee, she came back, might be her last time to be back, who knows, you know, she could have a big career again, or she might not, uh, I feel like The Hateful Eight was such a great performance, she needs to, so, I hope she comes back, rock on, I'm going to predict that she wins, and it's my choice too, alright, best directing, you got Adam McKay for The Big Short. Wow, they really like they really like The Big Short. They're going to nominate the the freaking Anchorman, dude. Uh, George Miller, Mad Max. All right, cool. Uh, Alejandro Gonzalez Inarritu. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, the Revenant. Lenny Abrahamson for Room. And Tom McCarthy Spotlight. That means... Uh, what I always what I always hate about best directing and the best picture best picture has eight nominees and best directing has five which means whatever five best directing is whatever five best directing means that those are the five front runners for best picture so let's go back and see which ones are not up for an award pretty much uh, Bridge of Spies isn't Brooklyn's not and The Martian isn't so those are the three that you could pretty much kiss goodbye. For any chance at winning. Um, so what I'm going to pick. Is definitely George Miller. That is, It's like a. Either that or Alejandro. Those are the two no brainers. For best directing. But really I'm going to say George Miller. Because George Miller is like freaking 150. Okay. He just said he's not going to do any more Mad Max films. Which pisses me off. And Mad Max. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people love The Revenant. I think Mad Max is a better film. Better made film. And you could say, oh, Memex is too simple, but The Revenant is extremely simple. It's a it's a revenge story at the most barest of bones, but that doesn't matter. A, a light story doesn't matter if you have just pure filmmaking, and that's what you have with both of these. And directing-wise, I'm going to say George Miller. I think they're going to either pick him or Alejandro. I'm going to say they're going to pick George Miller this time. I think I think the Academy knows what they're doing this time, all right? But I've been wrong before because it's the Academy. You can never predict them. Crash for Best Picture 2004 or five? Sure. Sure thing. You know, a, a solid 6 out of 10 for Best Picture. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure, buddy. All right. Best Film Editing. You got The Big Short. Mad Max. Third award. Nice. Uh, the Revenant. Okay. Spotlight. Oh, and Star Wars The Force Awakens. The editing in all these were great, especially, especially Mad Max and Revenant. Um, mm, you know, I'm just so happy to see Star Wars nominated for something. I feel like I need to pick it just to, just because. I mean, the editing was great in that movie. I mean, yeah, it 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 was very well done. It was edited just like a Star Wars movie. Um, uh, hmm, hmm. I don't know what to pick. I'm going to say they're going to pick... I'm going to say they're going to pick The Revenant. That's what the Academy is going to pick. I'm going to pick Star Wars. I'm going to give some Star Wars love. There you go. Even though Mad Max probably has better editing. <laughs> I'm going to pick Star Wars. Yo, Star Wars love. There you go. All right, next one. Best foreign language film from Colombia. You got Embrace of the Serpent. From France, you got Mustang. From Hung Hungary. Hung hun Hungary? In Hungary, 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 right? Whatever. Son of Saul, which I heard was great. Jordan, from from Jordan, Dweeb, Deeb, Deeb. Is that supposed to be Dweeb? I've never seen Dweeb spelled out. I don't know. Uh, Denmark, a war. Just a war. Just one. Just one more. Um, I am going to say Son of Saul because I heard that's supposed to be great. 
uh, and I'm pretty sure that won at the Golden Globe, so that's the only one I've heard of. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I've heard of Mustang, but Son of Sal I heard was great. Okay, best original score. Here we go. Really? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Thomas Newman for Bridge of Spies. Okay. I guess I need to watch Bridge of Spies now. There's so much love for it. Um, Carter Burwell for Carol. Okay. Ennio Marcone for The Hateful Eight. Johan Johansson for Sicario. I'm surprised that's not been nominated more. Uh, and John Williams for Star Wars The Force Awakens. Um, all right. I love the soundtrack for all these. Sicario is very quiet, which I like. Hateful Eight is, you know, it's Ennio Marcone. Uh, Carol is very well done, too. I haven't seen Bridge of Spies, though. But I'm going to say I love it anyway. Because um, <laughs> I already said I love them all. Uh, I guess I got to guess I gotta fit in. Um and, of course, Star Wars is Star Wars. Even though a lot of people say it's not the most memorable Star Wars soundtrack, I think you have to give it some time. Give it some time, give the new Star Wars a couple more watches, and you'll be like, you know what? That was an amazing soundtrack. I, I, would, I would say just give it a second. Or a score, I guess. Um, I'm going to say they're going to pick Hateful Eight. I'm going to pick Hateful Eight as well. That's my choice. Even though I just, I just sung Star Wars' praises, I'm still going to pick uh, Hateful Eight because Ennio Marcone is an amazing amazing um uh, what's the word i'm looking for song man that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> he's an amazing song man even though you know what i really do think mad max had an amazing score uh when that music just started thumping up when the action was kicking up you know i i just like the first not the first action scene but the one where they're where when um furiosa and mad max first meet and then uh mad max is hiding in the truck with the pregnant girl and Furious is like trying to like uh, get them to blow the rocks in the back, and then the action starts. That's one of the best like action uh, music pairings I've ever seen in a movie. It's so badass. But hateful eight. Anyway, next best production design: Bridge of Spies, uh, The Danish Girl, Mad Max Fury Road, The Martian, and The Revenant. Okay. All these had great production designs. I haven't seen Bridge of Spies. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen Bridge of Spies. I guess I really need to watch it now. I've heard it's great. I, I've heard it's great. Steven Spielberg. I need to watch it. I love Steven Spielberg. But um, uh, I feel like they're going to pick the Danish girl. I really do. Like This is probably going to be the one award Danish girl gets. Just because it's like set in a time period. You know, Set in a, uh, a very, very... Lo um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, all the dresses and all that. They they love their period piece films. So if you if you wear like dresses, corsets, all that stuff, then you're probably gonna win. Now Danish Girl doesn't really have many corsets, really, but it has dresses. Of course they had to make a guy look like a girl, which I don't I wouldn't say completely worked, but um <laughs> but uh it, it wasn't like I was like, Oh, he's hot. You know, I wasn't like that. Definitely not. But um they did a great job with that. So if they pick that, that's okay. But you know what? I'm going to go with The Revenant. I think that's my choice. Just the way everything looks shitty. It looks like it's realistic, like 1800s. This is what they would wear when they're hunting. I, I think that should win. But I think they're going to pick Danish Girl. All right, best visual effects. You got Ex Machina. Good choice. Mad Max Fury Road. Okay. The Martian. The Revenant. All right. And Star Wars The Force Awakens. Ooh, man. That's a... That's a hard list because Mad Max Fury Road, if we're talking about visual effects, we're not talking about special effects and uh, we're not just talking about special effects. We're also talking about, you know, it's visual effects. So any anything you see, any effect you see, any any realistic whatever. So Mad Max Fury Road, really, with the, the combination between practical and special... I mean, I, I, me personally, I would pick that, but the Revenant is probably going to win, and also I would be really happy if Star Wars wins as well, because I feel like Mad Max is going to win a couple other awards. I think uh, Star Wars, the special effects in that movie are amazing. They truly are some of the best special effects you will ever see. And when they could do practical, they did it. They definitely did it. So there's a lot of stuff going on in your eyeballs. With that movie. So I would be happy with that one too. Is that the third or fourth award for Star Wars? Alright. Cool. Um, so yeah. Me personally. I would go with Mad Max. But I think they're going to pick The Revenant again. Um, best Adapted Screenplay. The Big Short. Brooklyn. Carol. The Martian. And Room. Okay. So these are all based on books. Um, I'm pretty sure. 
Brooklyn, I'm not sure about. I know everything else is based on a book. Um, I'm going to say, seeing that I've seen all these except... Uh, well, actually, I haven't seen The Big Short. So I've seen Carol, Martian, and Room. Um, I'm a little pissed Steve Jobs isn't here. Where's Steve Jobs Academy Awards? What the fuck? <clears throat> I'm sure that's considered... No, maybe that's considered original. No, it's not... Really? Okay. I saw something I probably shouldn't have looked at yet. But, um... For Best Adapted, I'm gonna say Room. Because Room is a great, great, great movie. But I think they might pick... This might be the only award it gets to. I think it's gonna be The Martian. I'm gonna say probably The Martian. I feel like that probably will be the only award it gets. So there you go, The Martian. But I will pick The Room. Which is what I think the Academy might pick as well. Alright, so Best Original Screenplay, you got Bridge of Spies, Ex Machina, Inside Out, surprising, Spotlight, and Straight Outta Compton. Alright, I'm just happy, I'm happy Straight Outta Compton got something. It ain't gonna win, and I'm surprised there's no Hateful Eight here. I'm sure, I'm real sure, Quentin Tantino's like, fuck the Academy Awards right now, but... Straight Out of Compton is a great film. I would even say it's probably a little bit better than The Hateful Eight. Just a little bit. It's not better than Steve Jobs. It made a lot more money, sure. I guess that's what it counts. I guess <laughs> it doesn't, but whatever. Um, but I'm surprised to see Inside Out and Straight Out of Compton here. Uh, Inside Out is a very original screenplay. So you know what? Actually, me personally, I'm going to say I'm going to say Inside Out cuz it is very is it very is. It very much is an original screenplay. So is Ex Machina in a way, even though we've seen robot movies like that before in a way, but this one's done so well. Um I'm going to say yeah, I'm going to say uh, Inside Out my personal choice. I think they might pick Bridge of Spies though. Um because there's so much love for Bridge of Spies, I don't think it's going to win anything else really besides maybe this and maybe another award. I'm going to say that. So there you go. All right, we have to be... We're close to done, I think. Best animated feature film, Inside Out. All right, now, let's go on. <laughs> All right, now. All right. Anna Melissa, Boy in the World, Inside Out, Shaun the Sheep the Movie, and When Marnie Was There. Surprise there isn't um, The Good Dinosaur here because they love Pixar, but I guess they put Inside Out, so that's enough. Um, Anna Melissa, I heard, is a fantastic film. I don't think it's going to win, though. I think Inside Out is a shoe-in. It might as well be just called the best Pixar film of 2016. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> and, and The Good Dinosaur should even be nominated. It should just say Inside Out as the nominee, and that's it. Um, yeah, Inside Out. That's my pick, too. I've seen I've seen uh, Inside Out. That's it. <laughs> I haven't seen, I've never even heard of Boy in the World. Anna Lisa. I do want to watch, but it doesn't seem like my kind of movie. I'm not a big Charlie Kaufman, like huge ass fan like i'm like oh yeah i love charlie kaufman i like charlie kaufman I, I i respect him but i'm not a i'm not kind of sewer i guess you could say i'm not kind of sewer of his work um inside out's a great movie Shaun the sheep i want to watch because i love the shorts um and when marnie was there i really want to watch because it's a studio ghibli film so yeah i'm gonna say inside out i i think it's kind of like a shoe-in like animalise is the only one that has a chance but I think Inside Out's going to win. My choice and the Academy choice. Uh, best Cinematography, Carol, The Hateful Eight, Mad Max Fury Road, The Revenant, Sicario. Okay, Sicario had some fucking good cinematography. Of course, Roger Deakins. Um, whew, best Cinematography. I'm going to you know, I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm going to say Mad Max is my choice. But all these had really good cinematography. Carol had some really good cinematography. Um, Mad Max had some shots that will, like, live, live in just, like, not infamy, what's the word? Live in, it's just gonna live on as, like, some of those shots that if you just see a picture of, you'll be like, oh, that's Mad Max. That's a, that's a classic scene. Like, when the war party is in the background, you see the guys, like, standing on the, the little, like, stilt things, and they're, like, moving around. That's just, that's just amazing cinematography right there, and that's all real. The Revenant, <sighs> Most likely, that's what's going to win, but I'm going for Mad Max. I think this is the one award, not saying the other ones, it doesn't deserve it. This is the one it, it really does definitely deserve, in my opinion, along with the visual effects, I think. Um, the Revenant is probably going to win, though. I think that's what the Oscars are going to pick. 
Uh, Which sucks. I, oh my god, there's so much Mad Max love! That makes me happy. Bravo, bravo, Academy Awards. You're making me happy with all these, this Mad Max love. Um, best costume design, Carol, which is probably going to win. Oh, no, Cinderella, that's going to win. All those freaking long dresses and shit. Uh, Danish Girl, Mad Max Fury Road, and The Revenant. It looks like it's a battle between Mad Max Fury Road and The Revenant. I think they both pretty much have the same exact amount of nominations at this point. Maybe not considering The Revenant has uh, also the actor and supporting actor, so no. But Mad Max has... Uh, at least seven. I'll, I'll count after we're done. Um, I'm surprised. I'm really happy that Mad Max got that much uh, love. Best costume design. I really think they're going to pick Cinderella. That's actually something. Either Cinderella or Carol. Whatever C movie they're going to pick. Um, I'm going to say Cinderella because they put that in there for some reason. And look, it's the same person that did both of them. Carol and Cinderella is Sandy Powell. That's going to get an Academy Award. You know what? Yeah, I'll say Cinderella. Screw it. I really do think so because... You know, admittedly, the cost, you know, the dresses and all that stuff, they're nice, they're frilly, they look nice. Carol doesn't really have, I would say, dresses, but, you know, <clears throat> I think that was set in, like, what, the 40s or 50s, so they had to get that looking right, so I think uh, Cinderella will win, though. All right, and my choice is, uh, <laughs> best costume design, just the designs of them. You know what, I'm going to say, <clears throat> I'm going to say Mad Max, you know why? Because there's so much detail on the costumes. Like, if you look at Mad Max himself, he has, like, the little tube on his uh, uh, shoulder that he got earlier from when he was getting his blood sucked out and stuff. Uh, if you look at um, Furiosa, she has little things on her, like, fake arms. She has, like, wrenches and little tools and stuff. Um, just a lot of detail in all the costumes. So, you know what? Screw that. Mad Max should definitely win. Revenant's great. I don't care. That's probably... I don't know. I don't know what's going to win. I think Cinderella will win. I'm picking Mad Max again. I'm a Mad Max fanboy. Yes, and I would I would have sex with Mad Max if I could, before you ask me. And yes, I would suck George Miller's dick, alright? I know someone's going to say it. And yes, I'll do that too. You know what you're thinking. Alright, best documentary feature. Amy, Cartel Land, The Look... <laughs> Cartel, Cartel Land sounds like a theme park. Um, the Look of Silence... What Happened, Miss Simone, which I heard was great. Winter on Fire, Ukraine's Fight for Freedom. And uh, I, I don't know why I said it like there's more. <laughs> and that's it. Um, Amy, I heard, was great. I haven't seen any of these. I'm going to say, just from what I remember critically of all these that I've heard of, which means Amy, What Happened, Miss Simone, and Win uh, not Winter, uh, Cartel Land. Um, I'm going to say Amy's going to win. Amy had really good reviews. But... I'm gonna say, you know, I'm gonna say that's the Academy of Choice. I'm gonna say that's my choice too. Let's get out of here. All right, best documentary short subject: Body Team 12, Chow Beyond the Lines, Claude Landsman's Specters of the Shoe, A Girl in the River, The Price of Forgiveness, Last Day of Freedom. See that that last title was very simple. The last and first titles were very simple. Everything else is like. The blah, 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 beyond the blah, specters of the shoe forgiveness. I don't know. Uh, I don't, I've never heard of any of these, so I can't even, I can't even, like, suggest. I'm going to say, which one sounds sexier? I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to say Cloud Lonsman's specters of the show. I think that's going to win. Best makeup and hairstyling, Mad Max Fury Road. The hundred-year-old man who climbed out of the window and disappeared. I think I've heard of that, actually. I think that, that's supposed to be like a 25-year-old dude that's dressed up as a 100-year-old man. I think I saw a trailer for that, and it looked pretty good, like, makeup-wise. Okay. They they obviously added that there for a reason. Uh, Mad Max, 100-year-old man who f jumped out of a window and flew around. And The Revenant. Um, hmm. I'm going to say this one's going to go to The Revenant. And you know what? I wouldn't actually be upset about The Revenant, because there was a lot of really awesome makeup when it came to... Uh, what am I trying to say? The bear attack. You know, all the all the cuts and moons and stuff. Um, I'm going to say they're going to pick the Revenant. And you know what? I, I think that's my choice, too. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay, I'm gonna lay some, uh, some love on the Revenant this time. All right, next, next one. All right, best original song, Earned It, from Fifty Shades of Grey. What? Monterey, from Racing Extinction. Simple song number three, from Youth. 
Till it happens to you, the haunting ground. And writings on the wall, Spectre. Okay, first of all, fuck writings on the wall. If that wins, fuck you. Okay? Because you know what? I thought that was an okay song, but after Sam Smith uh, said he doesn't know who fucking, um, uh, well, who do you say he didn't know who, he didn't know, he didn't know what Radiohead was, or someone. He, he said he didn't know some famous musician, which I'm not a musician myself, but he is. So he should know this shit. And he said, oh, I don't know who that is. It's a famous musician. He said he didn't know who it was. That, that pissed me off for some reason. I was like, you know what? Fuck you, Sam Smith. So, you know what? Fuck writings on the wall. Where's um that freaking Fury 7 song? I'm surprised that's not here. Because that was legitimately a good song. I don't know. Um, I, 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 I can't vote. I'm not voting for that one. All right. So, let's, let's get over this. All right. Because I want to go. Uh, I want to get out of here. Best animated short film, Bear Story, Prologue, Sanja Super Team, We Can't Live Without Cosmos, World of Tomorrow. Do you see that there's no, um, what's that, Lava? Actually, I think it's called Lava, the friggin' short film that they showed in front of Inside Out. Sanja Super Team was actually really good. Sadly, it was in front of the worst performing the uh, Pixar movie, The Good Dinosaur. Uh, I'm going to say Sanja Super Team. I really liked it. It was, it was unique. Best live action short film, Ave Maria... Day one, everything will be okay. Allah's word, good. Uh, shook and stutterer, which is me. Um, I don't know. I'm going to say day one because that sounds really sexy. That's a sexy title. Day one. Oh, shit. What's day one? What's going to happen? What happens to day two? I don't know. Best sound editing, Mad Max Fury Road, The Martian, The Revenant, Sicario, and Star Wars. Sound editing. See, the, these two awards confuse me, sound editing and sound mixing. I, I kind of know what they are, but I'm still confused about them. So you know what? I'm going to say sound editing. Just because there's so much going on. I know The Revenant, there's like not much. like You don't hear much. And it's kind of the same thing with Sicario, except when there's gun blasting. Um, I'm going to say Mad Max for this one. I think they're actually going to choose Mad Max. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to say yes, Mad Max for me too. Even though Star Wars, yay. Um, best sound mixing, Bridge, Bridge of Spies, Mad Max Fury Road, The Martian, The Revenant, and Star Wars. Uh, I think that's the exact same, except they took out Sicario. Um, sound mixing. I really, I, I'm really, i really confused on these awards. I'm going to say Bridge of Spies. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. They added Bridge of Spies, so I'm assuming they're like... That's a really good one for mixing. We all know what mixing is, right, guys? And all 500 of the old assholes that vote for these uh, Oscars nominations. I know there's not 500 of them. But all these old assholes are like, oh, yeah, bravo. That's a good choice. That's a good I love mixing. I love mixing my sound with my peas and my porridge. I don't know. Um, I, I'm going to say, uh, not Bridge of Spies. That was a joke. Um, I'm going to say, you know what? The Martian had some good sound. I don't know. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to say Star Wars. They're not going to pick that. I'm going to say Star Wars myself. They're going to probably pick The Revenant for that one. Oh, and that's it. That's it. That was the last award. Wait, is it? Yeah, that's it. All right. So, you know what? I want to go back real quick and just count how many awards Revenant and Mad Max has. I'm sure it says it in here, but I'm going to count it myself. All right. It's the 70, 77th Academy Awards, I think it said. All right. So, one, two, one for both here. Two, three for, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Two. Three for Revenant. Um, two for Mad Max and Revenant. So that's two and four. Okay. Um, three and five. Okay. Three and five. This one's uh, nothing here. Actually, I should count the Star Wars ones too. Three, five, one. <laughs> four, six, one still. Five, seven, one. Um, nothing here. Uh, 571, there's nothing here. Okay. Uh, nothing here. Uh, 681. 791. Oh my god. Um, 810, right? Yeah. 810-1. Did I, I, I must have skipped a couple of Star Wars. I definitely did, right? Yeah, I definitely did. Um, I, I'll just, I'll just do, I'll just do Mad Max. I'll go back, uh, and uh, Revenant. Eight, nine, eleven. Uh oh. Uh, nine, eleven. Uh oh. Uh, 
Uh, 10, 12. Holy shit. So Mad Max has 10 award nominations and Revenant has 12. That's awesome. 10 award nominations for Mad Max. I mean, it deserves it. It deserved it. I'm just getting flashbacks at the Dark Knight, where Dark Knight really deserved it, and it didn't get shit. It got, like, three nominations. I think it won two of them. Of course, for Best Supporting Actor for Heath Ledger. But it, it, it got screwed, in my opinion. So I was really getting flashbacks. I know it's not based on a comic book, but I was just like, oh, no. Oh, no. It's not going to get the, the awards it deserves. Hey, it, it could be a uh, American Hustle of this year, where it got ten nominations, and it didn't win a single one. But you know what? Mad Max... Well, I'm so happy I got 10 nominations. Revenant got 12. Revenant's a great film. Martian, I think, about, got about, like, 6 or 7. Uh, Star Wars has 1, 2... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 2... Uh, yeah, 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 3... And I'm going to say 4. I'm going to say 5. Actually, I think there's one more... Uh, no. Okay, so it has four. Alright, so four. That's pretty good. Star Wars? That's good. Alright, so I'm really looking forward to the Academy Awards. Of course, I'll be doing a, uh, I'll probably be doing a live stream. I don't know if I'll be streaming the actual awards, because last time I did that was the Golden Globes recently, and uh, that went up for maybe 20 minutes and then got taken down immediately. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be doing that. But anyway, that was the Academy Award nominations. I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, go through them and discuss them. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so that, that's it. That's the Academy Awards. I'm looking forward to the awards show where Mad Max wins nothing. It better be, it better win something. I'm going to be pissed. All right. So anyway, there you go. Thank you. Until next time. Goodbye.